All right. So our second presentation this evening is a school spotlight on Crossroads Middle School. This time I'll turn it over to our principal, Mr. Dave May. Uh, good evening, and thank you uh, for giving us the opportunity at Crossroads Middle School to do a, a little presentation today. I'd like to go ahead and call up a couple of uh, helpers for tonight. Uh, Bailey Doctorow is one of our language arts teachers. She's going to be handing you an addition. We've got three of our students who also will join me up here. Landon Castle, Aiden Ernst, you guys can come on up, and also Colt Hines. <clears throat> so what we're going to talk about today, you guys, is it's, it's a presentation to showcase many of the activities that we are able to offer our students. And this is above and beyond the regular school day. So tonight we thought appropriately we would share a little bit about communication and how we communicate in the middle school and what we communicate. Is it good news? Is it interesting news? Is it news at all? So it's a good lesson not only for uh, the adults that are in the building, but also for our students. A couple of years ago, I had a, an opportunity to hire a new language arts teacher who happened to be Miss Doctrow. And I remember in the interview, she came to me and had a passion for writing and really felt it was important that we offered opportunities for our kids to write. And you're gonna hear from her in a few minutes, but it was because of her that she came to me asking if we could do something in the area of journalism or a newspaper or articles. So she'll tell you how that journey has uh, brought us to today. But uh, I do want to let you know that we are very fortunate to have an activity uh, which is extracurricular for our students in the after school hours. And in front of you, I hope you guys had a chance to thumb through a, one of our copies of the edition of our Crossroad Chronicles. I'm gonna turn it over to Ms. Doctrow and she'll share some more details. Sorry, I'm short. <laughs> oh, it fell out. All right. Hi, I'm Bailey Doctro. This is my fourth year at Crossroads, and I'm excited to talk to you all about the Crossroads Chronicles. So this is my third year doing the club. I started it three years ago, and like Mr. Main said, I did this because I wanted the kids to have a way to communicate with the community, to be able to you know, voice their thoughts and their opinions, um, and to do something at school besides you know, playing sports or playing an instrument. You know, it gave them something else to do that I feel like was quite unique, so I was really excited to bring that to the table. Um, and the way that the club works, um, so we have uh, a group of kids, you know, they, I let them choose their groups and they get to choose their role. Our roles uh, go from, you know, someone who illustrates things like comics to uh, someone who takes pictures. And maybe we also have reporters and we also have uh, writers. And the cool thing is that no matter what role they do, they all uh, do the research process together. So when they pick uh, a topic or a couple topics to do each edition. They get to start out together and they get to brainstorm. And it's really cool to see uh, the process from, hey, let's pick a question all the way to um, you know, the final product. I uh, love the, what I get to teach in the language arts classroom, but sometimes we're kind of limited on you know, them writing about things they specifically care about and want to express their thoughts on. So I feel like it's a really great way for them to be able to do that. Um, and they also get to see the, you know, the, cre the writing process from beginning to end with multiple revisions. Um, and that's something we don't always have time for you know, in regular class. So it's just cool. There's a lot of great benefits for it. Um, and I think they have a lot of fun doing it. I think one of the, my favorite things they say to me is that when they go off and they do reporting um, throughout the school, the teachers love it and the kids love it. So they'll kind of after school, we uh, meet two Mondays a month they will uh, kind of go around the building and they'll ask things to teachers and students anywhere from, you know, do you like pineapple on pizza to what do you feel about this event that just happened at the school? And it's cool that they get to talk to the teachers and they feel like they're a part of this community even more. And I just love it because I'm so proud of the way they've grown. Um, these three students that are with me, they're eighth graders. They've been most of them in the club all three years I've had it. And it's been really cool to watch them grow and learn and become better writers and also become more confident in what they're turning in and how they're reporting to the other teachers. So overall, I'm just really proud and I'm really excited that I'm able to do this here. And yeah, I'm gonna turn it over to them. And um, again, we have Land, uh, Landon Castle, Colt Hines, and we have Aiden Ernst. And if you just wanna tell us a little bit about why you started at Crossroads Chronicles, why you joined the club, and maybe some interesting things that happened so far. Um, 
Hello, everybody. I'm Aiden. I've been doing newspaper for all three years since it started. Uh, I joined newspaper because I thought it would be a fun way to bring news to the students and be able to have students communicating with other students and you know having information brought to each other. Um, one of the like topics that I've written about in the newspaper before is climate change. So I've written ways that we can, like how climate change impacts us and ways we can do to help prevent it and help like, you know, save the planet basically. Um, and I've really enjoyed doing it. It's been really fun being able to talk to the different teachers about some topics that you might not be able to talk to them with, about in a regular school day. And I've had really, um, I had a really great time uh, collaborating with other students, and my friends, and we've really enjoyed it as being a great way to share the news. That's all I have. Hi, my name is Landon, and I am an eighth grader here at Crossroads. This is my third year doing it. The reason I joined um, newspaper was just so I could try something new because I haven't really done anything like this before. Um, a couple of my favorite articles was when I wrote by myself about the entire NFL playoffs last year. I really like sports. I really like stats and understanding how stats work. Um, the current article we're doing right now is about what what's your favorite cartoon whether it be Spongebob or Scooby-Doo. And um, I can't wait to keep doing it. Hi, my name is Colt. I've been doing this for about two years. Uh, it's been a real enjoyment for me. I've had a passion of writing since I was probably in fourth grade. I used to write a story like, every day, like work on it every day constantly. But now I got to work on way more than just one thing, multiple at a time. I enjoy this a lot. It helps with uh, school sometimes because of all this stuff we have to write about. It helps me learn about new things happening in the world, new stuff, news, problems, anything really. Uh, I don't know what else to say, so <laughs> thank you. So once again, there you have it. This is an opportunity to uh, have our students kind of share their thoughts and feelings, and more importantly, their news through their eyes. So thank you again. Thank you. Any board member comments or questions? I think it's great you guys are doing this. I'd like to see it move up to freshman in high school. You get to communicate with people and you get both sides of how they feel and why they feel that way. And that's more of what we need nowadays. Thank you. I, I think this is a great program. I, I worked on a school newspaper at my high school. I thought it was great. I did it. I did it all three years. I was eligible to do it. Um, I think it's great that you're starting it. And I'm really, I, looking over this, I'm really impressed. It looks way better than mine did way back then. Um, and you guys are including things like comics and, you know, really getting different sort of um, forms of art in the, in the uh, paper. And, uh, you know, you're building writing skills. You're bu building soft skills like interviewing and, and whatnot and teamwork. And I think it's awesome. So keep up the good work. Yeah, um, thank you, Mr. Main and Ms. Doctorow, Doctorow um, for bringing on such a cool project and bringing it in for younger ages because as um, before this, like in the high school, obviously there is a school paper, but for us to be able to provide this outlet of creative writing to our students to be able to start featuring and honing that passion for writing um, and giving them a collaboration project because collaboration is so important in the world and so to be able to give them something fun that's not necessarily schoolwork, to be able to collaborate and learning those good skills about collaborating on projects is amazing. And I love that like Aiden gets to talk about climate change and learning about climate change and helping inform students of that diversity and that changing. Um, and that Landon can share his passions on NFL and comics and cartoons, <laughs> SpongeBob. By the way, is it SpongeBob or Scooby-Doo? Which one's your favorite? <laughs> 
I'm going to say it was Scooby-Doo because that was the, well, that's what I grew up with. <laughs> um, and then, and Colt, the fact that you've loved uh, writing for so long and that now you have a way to use that for school and it helps you get through school and then learn more about current events and inform kids about current events happening. I just think this is such a great thing and that you guys are embracing diversity by writing about Cinco de Mayo and St. Patrick's Day. I think this is really great and thank you so much for bringing this to our students. Um, is this uh, monthly? Is that what? Uh, yeah, sorry. I know I it's last right year. No. Yeah, so the first year I did it, we did seven editions. Okay. Um, and then we found that, you know, giving them longer to do each one provided better results. They got to really focus on, you know, their articles. Every they, I think each group is two to three articles each time. So now we're doing one a quarter, so four a year. Okay. So, yeah, right. that's, and it's been very good. I think each edition is probably like 10 to 15 pages, somewhere yeah. in there. Well, this is very impressive, and Landon and Aiden and Colt, great job, and um, as it's kind of already been said, it's it's impressive and, and <clears throat> exciting that that you guys are you know doing the writing. No no AI bot chat. No uh, don't know that. They're they're very good writers. Good all good. Because yeah. uh, you, you hear a lot about and and uh, I'm on another organization where people talk about the negativity of students, but it's the positivity that that doesn't that gets outshined by that. So I'm excited that you are writing. Uh, as, as Mike said, continue on into the freshman, keep doing with that passion in each different category or collaborate together, as Abby said. But uh, first, pineapple does belong on pizza, and Scooby-Doo should win. Yep. <laughs> um, but this, this is really good, and I'm excited for you, and thank you for, for speaking to us tonight, uh, just elevating what you're doing. And uh, I think Colt said, you know, it makes you think about different things. It, it really sharpens your mind for other subjects in school, and life in general. So thank you for that, and, and thanks, Ms. Uh, uh, Doctro and uh, Mr. Main for bringing them uh, in front of us and allowing them to speak. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, my board member said everything there is to say, right? Really well done. This is great. Uh, the article here on stars, right? Red dwarfs, white dwarfs. That's, uh, that's not a fluff piece, right? That's yeah. somebody really <laughs> putting effort into they're, writing They're this. into science, a lot of them. It's really cool because I learned so much from them. Right. Awesome. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, and I'm a SpongeBob guy. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for being here. Yes. Yes, we're gonna have to come back and get the next issue so we can find out who won. That's right. That's right. <laughs>